Today, you're part of an experiment. We're going back to the train simulators, but we're not here to review routes like we did before. Instead, we're here to answer a fundamental question of train layout design. What makes a layout so much fun to play with that you don't want to stop? No single track plan can answer this question alone. It's about seeing what we can discover from a variety of layouts and track plans to apply to our own world building. To do this, we examine these plans, adapt them to the simulator, and give them the ultimate test. And that means you get to try them out as well. It's time to find out what makes this layout great. I love a good rural branch line. And from photos that I saw shared online through social media, the murky omen branch seemed to have the charm that I associate with short freights, line side family homes, and smaller steam and diesel locomotives. But did the charm of winding through forests and taking in scenery at a slower pace come across when playing with this layout? Since the original was too far away to visit, I decided to build it in Train Z so I could try it for myself. The Murky Omen branch was designed by Robert Mountaine in HO scale. It models a fictional Reading Railroad branch line in southeastern Pennsylvania in the late 40s to 50s, but it lends itself to just about any northeast U.S. railroad from that time frame. It's 8x8 feet, starting its life as a standard 4x8, and then being extended to include the additional scenery and staging yard. The layout is designed for single crew operations. The train starts from staging, travels through Blooming Glen with a possible stop at the window manufacturer, loops around a few times, switches the feed mill in the town of Moyers, loops around a few more times, and finally arrives at the town of Lenape. There are five spots where cars can be switched before the train returns back to staging. Mixed train or passenger train operations are still possible since both of the towns have their stations in place, though you'd want to use coaches with a short wheelbase due to the 18-inch radius curves. The first thing we could see from this plan is how it is an effective use of the 4x8. Even without the staging yard extension and just using the stub as an interchange, this layout provides good switching opportunities. However, the staging does add the benefit of giving room for car storage and a sense of continuing beyond what is modeled. The scenic divider between the two halves makes the layout feel larger than it is. The two towns feel removed from one another, and the roads on each end keep the halves separate when you're looking at them from either side. That said, they are scenes in and of themselves, which is a nice touch. Lenape benefits from having a crossover, which allows for two sidings to fit comfortably rather than feeling crammed in the corners. Additionally, having two separate industries per siding adds to the potential complexity of switching moves. The only potential shortcoming with the design is having distinct towns on both sides of the loop. If seeing your train passing the same station repeatedly would bother you, perhaps replacing the town of Moyers with forests or fields may be a better approach. The other option is to shorten the operation so that you only pass through each side once. It really depends on how long you want to run trains in a session and whether scenery repetition while running bothers you or not. What makes this layout great? First, don't hate the 4x8. The Merc keeps each scene balanced between track and scenery while providing plenty of switching opportunities. Flexible length of operations are possible depending on how many loops you take and the sidings you work. It can easily provide entertainment for 30 minutes to an hour. Lastly, 
consider crossovers to overlap sidings where a switch might take up too much space. Ultimately, I give the Murky Omen branch my seal of approval. Thanks for joining me on this experiment. This digital version of the Murky Omen branch I created is available for free download for Train Z Railroad Simulator 19. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please comment below and let me know.